I'm now an unboxing channel. Welcome. Why, hello. Wow, of course, an airplane would choose to fly overhead right at this very moment. Classic Molly sitting down to film. Everybody decides it's time to get to business. That's all right, that's all right, that's okay. We'll just ignore them. We'll have fun, you and me, right here. You, me, and some cocktails. <laughs> I am so excited. I've honestly wanted to do this video since I saw my friends Lily and Jocelyn do this. I'll link their video below because I'm 100% stealing this idea. Ooh, I got a text. I have friends. Anyways, I am another text. Two friends. I have two friends. This is huge. This is big news, Neve. That aside, my other two friends, Jocelyn and Lily, did this video and I'm 100% stealing this concept from them. They did a while back when it was like probably actually breaking news because this machine was probably new at the time. This is probably like the least interesting thing nowadays because there's probably been tons of reviews and I'm just like late to the party. But I like to party anyways whether I'm late or not. So here we are. I want to preface this whole video by reminding everybody that I might look 16, but I am 26, so I'm well past legal drinking age, no matter where you live. Also, I'm Irish, and you know, look, maybe not all Irish folk like to drink, maybe in some, in some sense it is a stereotype that us Irish like to drink, but not in my fam, let me tell you that. This Irish fam, do we like to drink, Neve? Oh, uh, yeah, we do, but we don't, yeah. Neve, I'm not saying an excessive <laughs> amount. Yes, like, we do. We like to drink. Don't even yes. try to, like, pussyfoot around here. Yes, you yes. like, you, we like a drink in this house. Yes, we do. So, I feel like who better to try this out than me? And I might even be generous and give Mama B a sip or two. Oh, that's so nice. You're so nice to me, Mommy. I love you. I love you, too. Anyways, so yeah, I've never, I've, I've just never ever been somebody who's intrigued to dabble in any form of substance outside of alcohol. It's definitely like, if I want to turn up, alcohol is where I'm going. And it's not that often that I do it, but when I do, I like to get down with a cocktail or two, you know? A nice gin and tonic, perhaps? That's my fave. If you're of legal drinking age, comment below what your favorite cocktail is. Unfortunately, this company did not have gin and tonics as an option. And it's weird because months back, I looked at doing this video like way 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 back probably four or five months ago and I reached out to the company I was like hey, hey I'm really interested in your product would you like want to work with me maybe like send me the machine and I'll do a video and they're like no and I was like okay cool got it I'll still buy it so I bought it and I mean even if they had sent it to me it would have been a completely like unbiased opinion but now it's definitely an unbiased opinion if anything I'm a little bit salty like margaritas, which we have to try. We will be trying margaritas. But anyways, when I went back months ago looking, they had different cocktails that aren't available now. And even when my friends Lily and Jocelyn tried it, they tried cocktails that aren't available anymore. They only had like nine cocktails on the site. And I was like, I swear there was more than this a few months back. And there was definitely more when Lily and Jocelyn did it. And they were different than the ones they currently have. So I don't know if they have like a rotating basis. I don't know if they like were kind of at the beginning phase, like sussing out what was popular and what was not. And now just have like the most popular nine ones or what but I picked four or five of the cocktails from their website and basically how this works is you get a machine like a Keurig or an espresso and you buy alcohol pods and these have like the alcohol in it as well as all the mixins and you plop the pot in they do have a recycling program which is very important to me at least and it just you push a button and apparently a cocktail comes out perfectly made cocktail so I'm not gonna believe it till I try it frankly I have an espresso machine and Nespresso only exclusively makes coffee pods. And that's why I bought it. I just wanted coffee, easy coffee. Keurig, you, you can get like chai tea lattes and hot chocolate and mint tea. And I've tried it at like friends' houses and I honestly never liked it. I like the coffee, but I don't like the drinks outside of coffee. So I am intrigued to see as a cocktail connoisseur, how cocktails come to be. You've always liked cocktails. I've always been a cocktail girl. I like wine and I like cocktails. I don't think they had any gin drinks, which was sad because gin is my fave, but that's okay, that's okay. So I have the machine over there. Let's go check it out. Got my trusty drink works here. I don't know if it's like owned by the same company that owns Keurig. I don't know what's up with this, if it's like its very own thing or what. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't do much research. I was just like, wow, this sounds cool. And I know it's strange that I've set this up on my vanity in my bedroom and not in my kitchen. Such is life, you know? She won't live here forever, but for the sake of this video, this is where she is. All right, Neve, what do we, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Oh my God. Okay, so there's these little twisty things here. Okay, okay. You got it, okay. Okay. Oh god, isn't that satisfying? Yeah. Peeling now, do you open the box up? Let's see. 
let's see. Here's my concern. I ordered, like I said, four or five of the nine cocktails they offer. And I assumed when I got my box delivered from Drinkworks that they too would be in that box. However, we opened that box to get this box out and this was all that was inside. So this video might be a to be continued. We'll see. I'm like hopeful that they're secretly tucked inside of here, but I also somehow believe that's not the case. I'm now an unboxing channel. Welcome. Oh. <gasps> is this the cocktails? Oh, oh my God, is it? Is, I think so. Oh my God, I think it is, I think it is, I think it is. It's so cute. It's not. No. No. Aww. I don't think so. It's cute. It's proper packaging. It's a very interesting box, yeah. Okay. God, I'm doing this all by feel, you guys. I don't know what's up here. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, let's be hopeful. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is the cocktails. Okay. Okay, quick start guide. And then you okay, we'll deal with this. that later. Yeah. Let's open this and see. It's heavy. Please be, please be cocktail pods. Oh, these are all the recipes, maybe? Aww. Coaster set. Okay. Coaster okay, well, I really set. don't need cheap coasters, but thank you. With the different drinks. Okay. And then what is this? Mm, those are probably cleaning pods. Ah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah, I think this is all like, wow, a okay. cartridge. This oh, is... maybe like bubbly? To make a bubbly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. This is intense. Oh, and this is the oh, recycling bag right. for the empty pods. Right, back, yeah. We love that. We love a earth conscious queen. So none of that is my cocktails, which is what today is all about. By the way, I'd also like to mention it's 3 p.m. on a Tuesday and I have a work call after this, so. I swear to God, the other side was so easy. Oh, ooh, ooh, boom, boom, boom. This is how you, ah, yeah. I know, I know. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Spend the night together. I hope it lasts forever. Yeah, nope, there's no cocktails in here. This is the current selection of drinks they're offering. Can you read them to us, Mom, since I can't? Yeah, so we've got Long Island tea. Ice we've got tea. Iced tea, sorry. Look at you. Cuban daiquiri. Classic collection mojito. Mm. I did get that one. Cosmopolitan. Margarita. I Yes, an old-fashioned cocktails. What's that? Classic election old-fashioned. Old-fashioned. Old that's a drink. Oh, it's a drink. Okay. Yeah. Look at me. Okay. White Russian and Moscow Mule. All right. So that's a good selection. So that's what they currently offer for drinks. So this is where we're at. My boyfriend, Adrian, helped me make the order. So I went out to him and I was like, babe, you like ordered the drinks, didn't you? He was like, yeah. I was like, well, they didn't come. So he checked the receipt and it says that basically even though I, you order it all on one site, the drink machine and the liquor pods are sold by different companies. So they're shipped by different vendors. So this came first. This came really quick. So well done to the producer of the machine. And now he's on the phone trying to track down when the pods are gonna come. So this video is a to be continued, which means I'm not getting liquored up on a Tuesday afternoon, which frankly is probably for the best. Okay, so it is now Sunday. Adrian, my boyfriend, called Drinkworks and was like, hey, the drink pods never came. And they were like, yeah, we've been trying to deliver them. But no, and we're like, nobody, we've been home every day. We're in quarantine, nobody's come. And nobody's tried to call the phone number. So eventually it all got sorted out. And on Friday it was delivered. So now we can finally test out the machine. I have this which is the like makes the bubbles And then there's like a thing over here that I've tried to screw it into I'm not good at this stuff you guys. I don't know what I'm doing oh, Should I put down no. the camera and try? Oh, it did better. What, which way do I go? Uh, to the other way. Yeah, that way, that way. No. Yes. Yes Yes Boom Okay Hmm It's quite the hiss so I had to tighten it until the hissing stopped and then I was able to push it down so it lays flush and then I can put the door back on. Honestly, you guys, I'm already afraid that this is not going to be accessible because we were reading the instructions and it appears that it's a touch screen. So it's frustrating because a lot of inventions like this are ideal for somebody like me who's blind. It is ideal for me. That's why I got an espresso machine, which by the way, all the buttons are tactile on my espresso machine. So I got an espresso machine so I could just push a button and have coffee made. And I got one that makes cappuccinos, lattes, espresso shots, and long pours. And it's perfect. It does everything for me. It froths my milk, pours the milk into the thing. The coffee comes down, easy. It's like ideal. And this would be something that would be great for blind people, which is why I wanted to try it out. Like if you're a blind cocktail lover, how easy to just 
have a cocktail in a pod, boom, cocktail's made. So much less work. I mean, it's ideal for everyone really, but especially for people who can't see. It just takes a lot of the a lot of the work out of it for you, but then you make a touch screen and boom, not accessible. So that's kind of disappointing. I already feel like I will be asking for a refund, but for the sake of this, I'm still gonna continue on and we're gonna try this out. I now have the water tank that I have to fill up to the fill line. So Neve, I'm gonna have there to you have go, you yeah. Tell me what I'm at the fill. Keep an eye on it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna put this lid on my water tank and then I'm going to attach it. Okay, so that's good, that's and on. The water should be being sucked into the machine now. Ah. Okay, so we turned it on. This is just apparently for a cleaning cycle. And so we turned it on, I said hi, and then we clicked next, and then it said switch to French. And now we don't know how to so not switch to French. If we press it, to complete setup, begin rinse cycle. This. The rinse cycle takes about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's gonna take about 10 minutes. This is just cleaning it. Press it again. It requires a half gallon container. This is very complicated. <laughs> My mom and I are not patient people when it comes to setting up things like this, but we figured it out. It's finally, finally, finally doing its rinse cycle. So the water is being pulled from here and then it's gonna come out here into this bowl. We think to, anyway. We think, we think that's what we're doing to clean the machine. It's said it'll be, take about 10 minutes. Well, I'm glad we're having a drink after this because I think I'm gonna need it. We're having five. Ooh, okay. Might need 10 after this. <laughs> One for every minute that it takes to clean? Yep. It worked, it's coming out, yeah, woo. The cycle is done. Now we have to fill this with ice and then top it off with water. We're apparently supposed to wait for the water to get pulled into the machine and then top it off. And then we get our pod and we put it in here. Let me show you what drinks I got. I have these pods here. We've lined them all up. There was no coaster for whis whiskey sour. Whiskey sour is upset. She feels lonely, it's not fair. <laughs> Okay, so then these tubes, interesting. So I believe they come with four drinks. Yep, there you go, four it is. And the alcohol is like already in here. Like this is everything. This isn't just like, you don't have to add anything after, but like ice and garnish. Can you see it in there? Yeah, I can see the liquid. Looking it's good. So intriguing. Hmm. I'm guessing there's like punctures a hole. Yep, yeah, probably uh, gives it a little snap. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> Like, gone. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Looks like we're finally ready to drink, and we need it by now. So, there is a barcode here. My mom found it for me. Thanks, Mama. And you're supposed to put the barcode at the back. Like, ow. You hurt me. Oops. So I'm supposed to have a little bit of a bad day. <laughs> barcode facing the back. And then I guess, yeah, but there we go. And then, do I push this? Yep. Looks like everything's in place. Is it saying anything? Color changed. Yeah, it's red. Okay. That seems like it's saying no. <laughs> right? Oh, it's it's sir drink words pod. Maybe we have to go here. Oh <gasps> something happened. Or maybe it was gonna happen anyway. No, I think like Oh maybe it's, it looks kinda it's like, funny. Yeah, it's not registering that I've All I want is a drink. That's it. I'm just trying to make a drink. Now I see why they didn't want to send me the machine. They're like yep. She's blind and we know our machine is not accessible. That's so right. we're gonna say, I'm thinking the same thing no. to myself. That's 100%. That's what it is. So this is 100% not accessible. Thank you, Drinkworks. I will be sending this back your way for a refund. But even if you are sighted, this is really complicated. It is not like a toss I mean, in and get a I'm drink. I'm sighted. I'm reasonably intelligent. Okay, so I could tell that this light here changed color when we put the pot in. So I couldn't see what color, but I could tell like the brightness changed. So my mom read, Blue means the machine is ready to go. Blue flashing means it's making your drink. And then red means something's wrong. Well, we keep putting the pot in, it keeps going red. And now when we put it in, it says, is your pod type pod type A? But nowhere tells us what pod type it is. Hmm. Oh no, no, it's not, it's, 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 there, there. Yeah, I taste it, it is, it's good. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't taste like exactly like a cocktail you'd get at a restaurant, but it's also at home and less expensive than a $16 Los Angeles cocktail on a roof. Ah. So. How much is a pod? How much is a package? I want to say it's like 13 to $15. So you get multiple drinks. And it comes with four. Right. So it's not cheap. No. It's still not cheap. It took quite a bit of work. Mom can't stand the machine. <laughs> Don't like these machines. They require, like, they're like babies. They have to have their filter changed and they have to be 
cleaned. And God forbid a cockroach infestation. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Jesus. It's disgusting. Yeah, you know, I was sugary and sweet in there. I would love it. It's a luxury product though, right? It's not something, it's like... It's not cheap. Was it like three hundred dollars? Yeah, it's three hundred or three fifty. Right. So it's not cheap. Like, no, this and it not... takes up a lot of space. It like... does, like on your counter or storing it. It's a lot of. It's a large machine, so yeah. I would say it's like fun to have, but it's a luxury. You by no means do you need this. Let's mm -hmm. keep trying the drinks. Okay. Currently red. Okay. Just if you can just get it till it's blue, and then we can. <laughs> Look for drink type, letter code on pod. Oh, here we go again. This is way more complicated than my Nespresso machine. Do you agree? Oh, so my Nespresso machine, boom, button, push. Done. That's it. Put the pod, button, push. My mom keeps just like stabbing the start button and I'm like, is it's it annoying blue and flashing? Because if it's not blue and flashing, you can't hit the button, Eve. So we just have to stand here and wait? No, I don't know what's on the screen, Look but I can't see. Look for drink type, letter code on pod, so. It's, it's a B. B. Mm. It's not going well. It's not going well. I was so excited about this machine. Were I had you? so much. Yes. Oh, Mom, were you excited? Yes, of course. Did I, I ruin it? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't have like spent four hundred dollars ordering all of this and like wanted to do the video for months and reached out to the company if I wasn't thought this was like a cool product. I actually thought this was gonna be great. I had such high hopes. So what are you thinking? I hate it. There you this go. Is the most annoying Better thing not in the world. to drink alcohol, Molly. No, just drink wine. I got tired of it just not doing its thing, so I turned the machine off and turned it back on, and now it has to chill all over again, even though it was off for half a second. This is a pain in the bootay. It drink works, doesn't work. I've never even had a Long Island iced tea, I was so intrigued to try it. Now you know when you order your Uber, and it's like three minutes away, two minutes away, four minutes away. It said ready in one minute, and now it's back to ready in two minutes. It's red. Which means something went wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Like, if we're supposed to push it down, it doesn't say that anywhere. No. You guys are witnessing this, okay? This is, this is like a real life situation. This video was supposed to be like quickly setting up the machine and then like trying all the drinks to see if they taste any good. Hashtag failed video idea. Got it. Drink number two is finally underway. 10 minutes later, it's being made. We got it. We sorted it out. Oh, I'm pouring the drink. Is this? Long, Island. Long Island iced tea. You need to reset draining water. It really is broken, eh? This machine sucks. I'm sorry, drink works. I just believe in honesty. This is not good. We've pushed a whole bunch more buttons and it claims it's now making the drink again. Last time I just poured water into the cup. So maybe you can see water in this. Sorry, I need to reset draining water. What does that mean? What we made one drink. We made one drink, sir. What do you mean? We put more water in. We put more water in. What is draining the water? Where where are we supposed to drain water? Are we at a point where we're giving up? <laughs> I think we're officially at a point where we're giving up. I'll see you in a moment for my final thoughts. I think we can all agree that this video has been a big giant fail. And I hate to say that this product totally sucks because maybe it is us, but we're just following all the right instructions. Like we've read the manual, we've done everything that it's telling us to do, and we got one drink out of it. And we have spent hours working on this. So I don't know if I got a faulty machine. I don't know if it's a user error. I don't know if they just all suck. I don't know what's up, but definitely super negative experience. I'm going to try to return it. If I end up having any issues, I'll insert a clip here and update you. Update, I know that I'm in the same outfit actually as the beginning of this video, but it is a different day. I tested the machine yesterday, as you guys saw, it was a total fail. We called Drinkworks today. Returning it's fine. You have like 90 days to return. There's a bit of a process. You have to like find the serial number and it's a whole rigmarole, but regardless, I will get my money back. So that's good. However, you can't return the alcohol pods. So I now have like 65 or $70 worth of alcohol pods that are completely entirely useless. So that kind of sucks. So anyways, that's all I have to say for Drinkworks. Save your money, buy an espresso machine if you like coffee and make cocktails yourself if you like cocktails because this machine is definitely not worth your money, not worth your time, not worth the heartbreak that I'm experiencing. So sad. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me fail on camera for 10 minutes.
What are we kidding? It's a Molly Burke video. This is probably 20 minutes. All right, I love you guys very much. Give it a thumbs up if, I don't know, it was entertaining in any capacity. And if you want to see more Molly, check out this video where my six-year-old mother removed her leg hair for the first time. And uh, check out this video over here for something fun and fashion-y. Okay, see you next time.